Am I the butthole for yelling at my dad, 51 male, and calling him a monster for what he gave my sister, 30 female, as a Christmas gift? My, 28 female, sister Amanda, 30 female, never met her bio mom. My dad, 51 male, raised her alone until she was barely one, my dad and my mom got married in 1992. Amanda knew that my mom wasn't her bio mother, she started pressuring my dad for information on her mom when she was around 17, my dad always gave her vague answers and refused to talk about her bio mom, which put a strain on their relationship. Enters our uncle, 49 male, and revealed the family secret, apparently, Amy's mom wanted an abortion, she was 19, but my dad and his parents were able to bribe her, they offered her money if she followed up with the pregnancy, and she accepted, my grandparents sold one of their houses and gave her half of that money to Amy's mom when the pregnancy was viable, and the other half she received when she waived her parental rights over Amy to let my mom adopt her when she was four. My uncle wasn't supposed to tell her that, my grandparents were furious. Amy stopped her crusade to meet her bio mom and her relationship with my dad went back to normal, Amy never mentioned her bio mom again, dad got her into therapy after that. A month ago, Amy found out that she was pregnant, the pregnancy was an accident, and she switched birth controls. The problem being, Amy is about to start her surgical residency and her hours are insane, it is basically impossible to raise a baby while working in that rhythm, so she wanted an abortion, the problem is that Mark, 35 male, her fiancé, six years together, wanted her to keep the baby, it caused a big fight. In a dick move to convince Amy to keep the baby, Mark told dad about this, until that point no one in our family knew about this, dad talked with her and they got into an enormous fight. Amy went got the abortion 10 days ago, Mark ended up breaking up with her, she is obviously really sad. My dad was acting like a jerk, he was pretending that Amy didn't exist, he didn't want to talk or see her. So on Christmas day, we were exchanging gifts, when everyone had already finished giving each other gifts dad got up and gave Amy her present, he gave her an envelope in front of everyone and told her to open it. It was three pictures with something written on the back, a name, an address, and a phone number. Dad told her that he was tired of babying her, that this is a photo of her bio mom and her two sons, that was her bio mom address, and that he contacted her bio mom and she is willing to speak with Amy, he gave her Amy's number, dad thinks that they will have a great relationship since they are so similar. Amy broke down crying, I ended up in a fight with dad, called him a monster for doing that to her, he just said he was just tired and left, we ended up leaving and she spent the rest of Christmas crying on my shoulder, she is a mess since that. My younger brothers called me a Grinch for making a scene and ruining Christmas, my mom was silent during the whole thing. My parents have been giving me the cold shoulder since Christmas. Am I the butthole here? Edit, Amy is short for Amanda. NTA it sounds like you and your sister are the only ones not acting like buttholes here. Here's why every single other person involved is a butthole, her ex-fiancé is a butthole for trying to use her father to control her y'all's dad is a butthole for berating her about something that was none of his business and then using Christmas as an opportunity to further lash out at her your mother is a butthole for standing by and not saying jack crap while he did it finally, every younger brother who thinks you're the issue here is a butthole because you're clearly not the one that made a scene. That would be your father. NTA you made an excellent point of the situation. In point two I would add that he deliberately waited for Christmas Day to criticize her in front of everyone. I'd also add, Amy doesn't owe her father anything for existing. Her life isn't a gift from him, or something he purchased by pressuring and bribing a young woman, her mother, who obviously wasn't ready to have a child. The fact she was born doesn't afford him or anyone else the right to control or dictate how she lives her life now. The circumstances of her birth have no bearing on her right to bodily autonomy or her right to make her own decisions. Amy wasn't ready for a baby. Her body, her choice, her life, it's that simple. The father is a monster on this one. His behavior is abusive and babying her here is code for controlling her. If I were Amy I'd be exercising my right to make my own choices by ending my relationship with my father. I feel the same. This father does not deserve to be called a father, and the mother can be crowned as the most spineless of them all. What a terrible and dysfunctional family. Up, you are NTA. I'm glad Amy has your support while she heals from this attack by basically both of her parents and exes betrayal. She did what she needed to do for herself and I hope her healing excludes her parents.
The mother can be crowned as the most spineless of them all, carrot, this part seriously pisses me off. My husband and I had to go no contact with his family after what amounted to an onslaught of abuse. We couldn't go 24 hours before they'd find another angle. My husband's father did the same as Op's mom. Nothing. Dead silence. At first, it was frustrating to me, but as days turned into weeks, I came to realize that I had hoped for something that would never come. Best case scenario is that he didn't really support their side, but if that were true, it'd only mean he had no spine to stand tall with and defend his son. It's infuriating. I'm sorry you had to live through that. Betrayal through an action is just as bad as an active one, because offenders are often repeat offenders and you don't expect anything better from them, but when people show themselves as spineless, that's a terrible blow. No, don't you see? Amy does owe her father for existing, she was literally bought and paid for by his parents. How dare she assume that she has body autonomy that was never part of the deal. This behavior is effing disgusting. I don't know how I'd ever look my father in the face again if it were me. And dad is repeating the cycle by thinking that Amy's ex had more say in Amy's pregnancy than Amy did. Only this time Amy was a grown woman who couldn't be manipulated or bought, not a 19-year-old who was swayed by the adults in her life. Thank you. Dad seems like a major butthole here. Successfully pressured a young terrified woman into giving birth before and tried to torture that child when she didn't make the same choice for glaringly obvious reasons. Like other people are saying, why didn't Mark offer to put his entire life on hold to care for the baby? Which even if he did, pregnancy is quite literally hell on women's bodies. I can't imagine working insane hours entirely on my feet, studying, being on call, just everything that goes with internship while being pregnant. Anyone that can do that is a superhero but clearly she knew her limits and also had no intention of getting pregnant as she was on birth control. How much you wanna bet Mark didn't use condoms? I'd say safe bet. These people are monsters, at least she has op. In my imagination Amy tells dad that she wishes her mother had aborted her, just so that he wouldn't be her dad. Yes, I know, don't actually do that. But it would be proportionally hurtful. NTA, original post, support your sister, and for the rest of the family, return the cold shoulder. And I don't know why they would want to go to the Nye party. In my imagination Amy reaches out to bio mom and forms a good relationship with her. That's not going to happen though. Even if she was only 19 when she gave up her daughter, I don't know if I could forgive someone for selling me. Having said that, I'd have issues with the family who bought me. It's crazy how anti-abortion people treat people who differentiate on views, nonetheless an immediate family member. Like Jesus Christ have some effing compassion for your daughter. I talk to mom and get an idea of how controlling and buttholy he was when he found out she was pregnant. I'm sure she won't care about what dad has to say half as much as she does now. This, sports medal, sports medal, sports medal. Exactly and the ex-fiancé clearly told because he thought the family would successfully pressure Amy into a pregnancy. Yeah, and I bet the ex would have left the childcare to Amy, if she had the baby. Goes without saying. And he had to gall to break up with Amy when she should have been the one who kicking his ass to the curb for that move. Ex-fiancé is also a butthole for wanting her to give up her entire career that's just starting to raise a freaking baby immediately right now instead of waiting when they're more established. I mean, they were going to get married and therefore spend their lives together, right? So what's the goddamn rush to pop out a kid at the most inconvenient time possible? I really hope Amy realizes she dodged a goddamn bullet and doesn't have any doubt she made the right decision or not, because she absolutely did. I keep thinking about that post where the guy persuaded his ex to have the baby and he'd raise it, and then was extremely surprised that she did indeed leave him to raise it and did not get back together with him and become a housewife and mother. I remember that. That was infuriating. It's the one where she was even voluntarily paying more child support than she legally had to and he was still pissed off and wanted her to take part in raising the kid and wanted to sue so that the court would force her to help raise the kid, right? He got rightfully crucified in that post. A. I don't know if I can go that far. They were supposed to be married this year. We don't know how long the fiancé had been wanting kids. Maybe he's one of those really religious types. Maybe he really is a controlling dick. Either way, Amy had the right to abort and it was the best decision for her career, 
and probably for her as a person as she might have become really resentful if she'd continued the pregnancy instead, but the fiancé also had the right to not like it and to end the relationship over it. It's an incredibly divisive issue and people grapple with it both as an abstract notion and when it touches their lives directly. The fiancé becomes an awe when he decides he needs to include the father in this, to pressure Amy to give in. That's when he crosses, like, all the lines and if I were any L Amy I would have re-evaluated the relationship then. But just his reaction? I can't exactly fault him for that. Does it really matter how long he's wanted a baby, or that they were supposed to get married this year? It doesn't give him a right to be such a dick. Can you imagine having the audacity to approach your future Phil to step into your relationship in such a way, especially knowing the history? Regardless of how healthy or unhealthy their relationship had been up to that point, this specific act and in this specific moment, Mark saw Amy as a baby incubator who was going to give him kids. He didn't treat her like the woman he loves, the fiancé he wanted to marry, the person he was proud of for going after her dreams and making it through med school, he saw her as a baby incubator, and he did everything in his power to make sure he got that baby. No, I said that what he did was what made him an awe, but being disappointed, being hurt, mourning, and ending an engagement, while painful, are not awe moves alone. It means they weren't on the same page about this and hadn't talked about it. As soon as the fiancé took it to her dad he catapulted straight into solid awe by trying to manipulate and control her. I just didn't agree that his reaction of wanting the pregnancy meant he was controlling. If he was really one of those religious types, he wouldn't have gotten her pregnant before they were married. Possibly not, but it's kind of funny what people can justify to themselves. Something tells me he wasn't going to drop his job to take care of the baby, but expected her to do that right before residency. All this. Not the butthole, edited because I can type. Also don't worry about your invite to the night party. Drop these people and do something for the two of you. Nya? Sorry just pointing this out, since it can't decide judgment. I also agree with your statement NTA original post. Well, since it's a reply and not a parent comment it can't decide judgment anyway. Definitely a funny typo though. I keep wanting to pronounce it phonetically. I read the story. I registered all of these things. But seeing them itemized and laid bare makes me want to cry for Amy, and the op. How could one person, and then a relatively close group of people, all choose to be cruel in these ways? NTA, op. I'm glad you put it to words eloquently, because I'm almost shaking with anger because of the dad. How could he do this to his daughter? It's cruel, vicious and there are some other choice words that are not suitable, not even for Reddit. The only thing in this story that makes me happy is that original post is supporting her sister unconditionally, and she has a shoulder to cry on. What a dreadful father. Yup. Dad ruined most of Christmas, but younger brothers and mom picked up the slack and ruined the rest of what dad didn't get to. NTA and I wouldn't be surprised if fiancé got her pregnant on purpose at this rate. It's just suspicious as f that she had a huge step in life she was about to take, she ends up pregnant, and then he goes through her dad to force her hand to keep the baby. For real. This is monstrous, and a reason to consider cutting them all out. Sounds like all the men in that family are rotten. Just a thought, the mother may have been angry with the father, but rather than make a bad situation worse, she may have opted to deal with the dad in private. I'm not saying that's the case, just that it might have been. The issues with this is the victim is still left feeling alone except for Op. If mom went to Amy and said I don't agree with dad and had a talk with him. It would be different. But right now Amy knows her bio mom never wanted her, and now her dad and the only mother she ever knew have basically said screw off. While not standing up for her adoptive daughter when it counted. The father is an awe for the past two. He bought a child. So is the bio mom, Emo though we don't know the whole situation, but he bought a effing kid. Summed up beautifully. Completely agree with everything you specified. NTA. OMG. Women are not baby-making machines. Whatever their views on abortion, your father had no right to rub her decision in her face. He clearly has no respect for women, something that your brothers seem to have inherited. Good on you for standing up for your sister. Your NTA. You're a wonderful sister and a badass. All of this. 
It sounds like it's time to take some distance from these people. Anyone who would take your insecurities and use them as weapons against you is not your friend. Blood does not necessarily make family. We don't have to allow others to hurt us just because we are related to them genetically. NTA. Pop off from here until forever that was unacceptable on his part. Edit, grammar. You are so effing spot on it hurts. I really help original post and her sister can escape this toxic family and get therapy. It's such a passive aggressive way to pretty much disown your child. What kills me is that he was willing to coerce and pay money for the bio mom to have and give up the child and then when it comes time to unconditionally love said child and support them punishes them for not taking the life choice he did. All of that to wind up being a horrible father who taught his sons to not view their siblings as equals and saw his daughters as nothing more than breeders. The men in this family, besides maybe the uncle, have a culture problem of thinking they should be able to control the choices and bodies of the women in their lives. It seems like the mom gave in a long time ago, and to some extent the daughters are used to it enough to still be in contact with them, to doubt if they're in the wrong for pushing back, and in one case to date a man who's just like their dad. NTA op, don't look back. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube. And share them with your friends. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. We welcome your comments below. Another of our videos will begin shortly.